Hi folks, Ed Snyder with Kansas Trapline Products bringing you this new YouTube video. Here we are, it's the 4th of July, and I want to honor all of our veterans with this new tip we got. Um, one of the things about trapping coyotes is we use uh, sets such as a grab and die. Uh, you can use a felt glued onto a stick, onto a dowel rod and different things. One of the problems with dowel rods is, is that when you're hammering in, they break in half. Well, one of the things I found that, you, that works very well is the Osage orange tree, uh, commonly called the hedge tree. There, you can also use things, uh, trees such as uh, black and yellow locust. Those work very well, and you just find a good straight limb to cut. Uh, I'm going to show you here how to make a grab and die setup that you can use this winter, and how you use it is use a food lure, uh, a product such as my Monty Dotson's Positive Attraction. We look for Positive Attraction in our food lure. There's other lures, uh, Final Approach and different things of mine. And basically, I'm going to make this that the lure is going to go into a groove and it's going to stay. And we want to we want to turn right around and have something that's we want to find a limb that's nice and straight. Something like this isn't going to work for me. So I'm going to get behind here and I'm going to cut off a limb and I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to make this set. And they are thick. There we go. So now I'm just going to go and cut off these limbs. Straighten it up. I could probably get a couple of grab and dies out of here as well. Let's go up to my front porch and I'll finish showing you how I make this set. Okay, folks, we're up here on my deck, and I'm going to uh, finish showing you how to make this uh, grab-and-die tool uh, to use. Now, I cut each end, in this case, blunt. The middle section of this, I'm going to go at an angle. That'll give me something a little bit sharp to go ahead and pound into the ground. Now, here's the thing. Matt Jones came up with this in his eastern... Uh, uh, raccoon trapping methods on his video and he used it for raccoon and this is something that I saw too now what I want to do is I got one flat surface I have an angled surface <coughs> and what I want to do is I want to put about three notches I don't want to go very far into it but I uh, you know in his set he uses a chainsaw but I'm working with a much smaller diameter here so I want three grooves to put in here and yeah, you can use bandsaw, it would go a lot faster. But now I have three distinctive notches that I put into my, into my uh, stick. Uh, let's step on out here and I'm going to show you how to move it now. But what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to smear some of my lure into those grooves. That way it's a little harder to get out. It'll, it'll actually hold the animal's attention much longer, especially with that good food lure uh, smeared into those notches. So let's go on out. And I'm going to show you how I would uh, use this lure. Okay, folks, so we have our grooves cut in our grab and die. And places that I'm looking to put it is I'm wanting, to, I'm wanting somewhat tall grass, tall grass clump, something like that. I got a point right here uh, coming off of this. Is, so this could be a good uh, potential coyote trapping location. So here's what I want to do. Taking my angled in uh, into the grass. And basically, I'm just going to go ahead, we're, you know, we're, this is a grab and die, and uh, we're going to have the grooves facing us, but just enough in there that that, uh, that, that uh, stick is not going to pull back out. I'm going to be able to smear my lure into, into the grooves right there. The coyote's going to be able to come up here. It's, it's kind of out of view. I can turn right around and place my trap uh, six to eight inches out. Uh, from from that as the animals are coming around there the the wind is coming across as the animals come It's just actually a perfect spot the coyotes turn right around I've already got their attention with the food odors the grooves in the in the stick is actually holding uh, My lure in it if he wants to get it all it's he's gonna have to stay with it That means we have more stomping around out front out here. It's hidden it's, it's a, a, you can do these grab and dies in multiple ways. In this case, there is no visual aspect to it. All this is is a holder for my uh, lure above the ground 
for soft, edible food odors, ones that don't have a whole lot of lift to them. We've got the animal, he, this, stay, this stick is not gonna go anywhere. Using something like hedge will hold up very well uh, in your environment. Find a hardwood that will turn right around and cure nice over the summer. You can cut it now while the plants are nice and green. And you're gonna have a fabulous tool to use this winter. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. You know, tips like this, they're, they're, they're economical for your own trap line. You know, it'll save you money down the road. Thanks for watching, folks, and have a great 4th of July.